so um, it's an audience participation game, and uh, we have a list of quotes, and half of them were said by Kanye West, <laughs> and half of them were said by Hitler. <laughs> and you have to guess who said which quote. <laughs> it's not that easy of a game. <laughs> Uh, okay, how about, okay, here's the first one. When a man is starving in the streets, he's not thinking of bread and water, but of caviar and champagne. Hitler! Hitler! <laughs> the comedic duo Garfunkel and Oates play a spectacular game with their crowd. I stand here as a revolutionary. It is as a revolutionary against the revolution. <laughs> Amazingly, this clip is from 2009 and yet still resonates today. I might have to go back to war. I just might have to. <laughs> Sidebar, please play along at home. All right, we continue. Nothing in life is promised except death. Hitler. Hitler. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Their quotes are It's really weird. <laughs> that my place and position is in history is that, well, that I will go down as the voice of this generation of this decade, that I will be the loudest voice. Okay. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Flat out brilliant stuff. And please do follow Garfunkel and Oates, a.k.a. Ricky Lindholm and Kate Michucci on their socials. Now, if you haven't seen it, I want you to take a look at co-host on the network, Ben Glebe. This is bastard will be stopped now. This is, this is over. I will not allow this hate monger to spread hate yet again in this world against my people or against any good people in this planet, against any marginalized group or any group in this planet. He will not be allowed to normalize white supremacy in this world and he will not be allowed to normalize Adolf Hitler, the monster of all monsters who killed factually six million Jews and up to five million other people. Do you understand? That will not ever again stand. He turned down the invite to go to the Museum of Tolerance. Go to a concentration camp in Germany, you moron, you despicable human being in it only for yourself. My family was killed by Hitler and the Nazis during the Holocaust. This right here is my grandfather. This is my hero, okay? My grandfather, his parents right here slaughtered by Adolf Hitler. His four brothers slaughtered by Adolf Hitler. It's my grandpa on my dad's side. My grandpa on my mom's side. This is him right here. Slaughtered. He was not slaughtered. His parents slaughtered by Adolf Hitler. His four brothers slaughtered. This is my grandparents. My grandmother on my mom's side. Her three brothers and parents slaughtered by Adolf Hitler. That's 17 deaths just in my family alone. How dare you say it to my face. Take off your mask and say it to my damn face. You son of a, I wish I could swear on the air right now. I call on all good minded people in this planet to condemn in the strongest terms, Kanye West from society ever again. He's done, there's no coming back from this. You are ostracized from life. Why are you ostracized? Because you don't deserve it. You are willing to throw an entire group of people and endanger the lives of Jews around the planet so you can make more money and get more fans and hang out with your black person hating Candace Owens best friend and your Jewish person hating Nick Fuentes best friend. Please be there with us. Everyone needs to condemn this monster and any show that ever again allows Kanye West on their air ever again from this day forward, you are an anti-Semitic, racist, bigoted network, a show, and you should never have them on your air, and you will never be respected again if you do. End of story. By the way, I'd like to remind everybody, about a week ago, Donald Trump met with Kanye West and Nick Fuentes. And that's also why Trump has to be done. There's no excuse for it anymore. There's other people that can push your policies. There is no more excuse for also people that push hate. That is no longer allowed ever. If you quietly, tacitly support a hate monger, a racist, a bigot, you are that. You're just a more cowardly version of it.